Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. I am about to head into Quest Diagnostics to do my glucose test. I am 25 weeks pregnant tomorrow. Um, and this checks if I have um, like the potential to have gestational diabetes. This is like a first go around. So if this test um, is clear, I don't I don't have to do any other testing, but if this test comes back that I could, then I'll have to do a bigger test. Um, so I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, yes. Sorry, so I've been sitting here working. Um, been in pretty much constant meetings since 10 o'clock when Sarah left. 9.30 actually, but Sarah should be home soon. It is 12.20 and this just arrived. I thought it was gonna be the side tables for our bedroom, but this is even more exciting. This right there, Newton baby, is our fancy space-aged crib mattress. Check it out. So it's a waterproof crib mattress, safer, healthier, better sleep, 100% breathable, 100% waterproof, 100% washable, 100% recyclable. Babies can breathe right through it. So I'm gonna show you, um, we have to get like special sheets. If, I don't, I think you can use it without sheets. That's actually designed to use it without sheets, but we're gonna get sheets specially designed for it. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take it out of the plastic and show you why they say it's 100% breathable. You could literally lay faces down on this and breathe through it. It's coming together. I also put a few, I need to like handle that area later. That has to do with our mattress. Our, we were storing a lot of that underneath our old mattress um, frame and they, I have to make room in that closet. And then a lot of that stuff was being put in here, but that's not anchored until we get the crib and everything. So it looks like it's not, it, it has progress to be made, but very quickly we will, including we were talking yesterday about how we definitely need some stuff on the walls now that it's starting to come together. Sarah's actually might have found a side table for this. So this whole corner may be cleaned up later today. And then I'm gonna, this is gonna make me clean up all that over there because of this is gonna go over there. So here's the fancy, all the science behind it, how it's got no allergens, no overheating, no CO2 suffocation. But here's the inside. It looks like scary. It looks like Space Age, it kind of reminds me of in Ant-Man and the Wasp when they go like subatomic. But that's so you can breathe through it, you can get your fingers through it, and it's got a waterproof, it's got two different sides. One's like for the waterproofness, one's for like the breathability. They're both breathable. I don't know that the difference is for both sides, but that's the cool scientificness of it. it. Looks good, this is my baby's crib mattress. Oh yeah. From here on over, I know, so those pillows are definitely not staying there. I think we might use those pillows, but we're gonna get some covers. Check it out. And Sarah did find a table that's gonna go over here. So I have to finish working, having some meetings, I have to hop on the next like five, 10 minutes. But I'm gonna vacuum that whole area, get that quilt out of there. The table's gonna go right over there with the lamp on it. And this will be looking good. Um, then we just need the crib to get here. We're just supposed to get here sometime in this month. And then we can really decide where all of these pieces are going. We were talking about putting this against this wall, that underneath there crib at an angle which would kind of free up some space here more so for like maybe a small bookshelf like close to the wall attached on the wall kind of bookshelf thing i don't know we're figuring it out but it's coming together Alrighty, i am back home um the drink itself so if you're not aware a glucose test is you um you drink a glucose drink and it's like maybe this big um and it's super sugary and basically you drink it in less than five minutes and then you sit in the waiting room for an hour and then you get your blood drawn to see how your insulin um works or not um when given that amount of glucose or sugar so basically they're just seeing if you have a risk of gestational diabetes if you pass you're done and then if you don't then you'll have to um go back for a three hour test and then 
if you still fail that, then you just have to manage um, your sugar intake the same as you would if you had diabetes. I think it's the same. I mean, I, I obviously don't have the experience. I'll learn more as I go. Hopefully we'll have just a chill rest of the day. I'm pretty, I don't know why I'm so tired, but my doctor did warn me that like you'd feel kind of crummy after like consuming that like concentrated of sugar. I did have a little bit of lunch when I got home and drinking water. So now I gotta get my work day started. Look at, look at, we got more fun in the mail. That's, oh, we just have the crib left. We have, the crib mattress came today. Yes, I showed that? that already, yeah. Um, so the last thing we have coming is the crib. But we don't, we don't have an ET on that, do we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just July. So we have two of these, so I'm gonna open up and see how hard they are because I do have, I am in the middle of my work day. But I just wanna, I'm curious to see how these look. So I made this modified recipe for dinner. It's a Brussels sprout pancetta butter pasta. I'll link the recipe below. You guys know we really don't buy a lot of meat alternatives, but I always try to like bring those flavors in somehow. So I used a can of red kidney beans and I seasoned it like bacon or pancetta. So I put some maple syrup on it and um, some like mesquite seasoning, like barbecue seasoning, a little bit of soy sauce. So it has that taste of the bacon. It actually, turned out really good. Um, I'm excited. There's not a lot of sauce. It's more of just like the different flavors with the noodles. So I might, might just like melt some butter to put on top or maybe just put olive oil on top. Um, but Peter's in his last meeting for the day. And then we'll be going out. All right, we're running the Publix really quick. Yeah, I said we were gonna go out, but then we talked and we'd rather just like relax at home, but still have like- We're gonna watch Trolls World Tour, I think. night, yeah. Peter feels really accomplished with what he's gotten done. So we're gonna do a little treat to celebrate from Publix. I've I like, just get a few groceries because our staycation's next week. A week from right now, yeah. I'll be on work vacation. So we don't need a full, we don't need a full haul. So it's great. We were so worried that Sweet Earth pizzas were a thing of the past, but they're back. I might get a shopping hopper. That's your treat? Maybe. My treat cereal, again, we thought we only needed a basket. <laughs> <laughs> Early celebration. I finally like, I've been testing that program I made over the weekend finally that I've wanted to make since basically my company and meetings with a different company back like in like August of last year. My, me and my boss have been talking about making this automation since September of last year. It's been a looming stress over me because I do manual work every day. I'm only like 85% done because there's little features I made, but 100% of the core piece is done and I actually saw it in action today and I was just so happy. And like even right now it's running. Like I just have it running right now in the background trying to do this thing that we've been wanting it to do rather than me doing it for a manual portion of just one business day. Now I can just, as long as my computer's VPNing, it's going to update every five minutes to the SQL servers. Um, with all the different pertinent information that I needed to keep for all these different reports that are now automated. I can just hit refresh on my reports and bada bing bada boom. So because of that, we're gonna celebrate and we're gonna watch a movie. I think Trolls World Tour. Look at these two. Is the music just moving yet after you watch Trolls World, World Tour. Tour? Yeah, I think those movies, I give them a B. I give them a, a solid B. I think I sugar crashed. I think I, I think we should go to bed soon. Yeah, Eve's got to go to the bed tomorrow. And I might go get... Wait, what time is it at? Nine. Oh. I can't go get tested tomorrow then. Oh, you're right. <sighs> yeah, she has a, a big vet appointment. Just some yearly checkup stuff. Checkup, blood work, all that stuff. Look at her back legs. They always stick out. Because <laughs> she lays the cutest. Yeah, uh, Trolls World Tour. I get. I like Trolls. Tro, trolls. I like Trolls World Tour more than Trolls. I give the series overall a B. Yeah, I think I like the first Trolls more because I think there was it. In order to like pack all the different types of music into Trolls World Tour, it had to move really fast. Yeah. yeah. And I like a. And solid, it was only an hour and a half. We're like we like three hour movies. I guess so. At least two. 
she always has to be in between us. <laughs> like she couldn't handle her being there and me not being in between. She had to be in between. She does the same thing when she likes lays. Like if Sarah's in our room for some reason and I'm out here, like she'll lay right there, exactly in between us, so she can keep an eye on us. I think I yawned three times in this single shot. I think so too. I think we call it a night. Dude. <laughs> oh, dude. How was dinner? Nothing like watching some bucket list. That's while the night winds down, huh? I'm in the same spot as the last shot. You feeling cozy? Yeah. Good. We all know time flies by, especially with this thing called coronavirus. But Sam and I were just talking, we were just talking to Eve about the fact that our little friend James is going to be here before you know it, because it's already halfway through July. We have a vacation next week. Next month, we have a trip to Chicago. The month after that, we currently have visitors coming, but you never know if that's going to stay or not, but that looks like it might happen. And then the month after that, little Baby. little dude's going to be here. Yeah. And it's going to be great. Yeah. So, before you know it. Watch Focus Focus without being judged. Why, is somebody gonna, why can we watch Focus Focus without being judged? Because it'll be October. Oh. When we watch it now, we're judged. Guess, guess how much Sarah and Peter care about people judging us. Do you guess? How much, Sarah? Zero. Zilch! We don't. I mean, obviously, we try to be good people, but if you have qualms with us watching Hocus Pocus outside of the month of October, you can take it up with my assistant. Her name is Eve Everson. She's not going to write it down. She's not gonna tell me about it. Did we even tell you our side tables came? Oh, you know, I think I said they came. I think I showed them, but I don't think we, we didn't show them since they got put I together. I do look really tired. Peter says we're old because we have side tables. I think. Sarah said, What should we do? I said, Let's go to bed. Because <laughs> it's 10 30. I said, We got side tables. We're old now. <laughs> wow, look at all the class. Get it? Class? Class? <laughs> oh, is there a smudge on that one? I think you just. No, Peter. <laughs> Basically, just for we're, I might put a little something cute on there. You never know, but it's really for cups of water because we spill our water constantly, and phone to charge. Proof that we're going to bed early, ten seventeen. Gonna do the message. My program is gonna run. I'm just gonna let it run all night. I know at some point my VPN will kick out, and it'll error out on the program. But I'm interested to see what time that is. Um. I don't know what date is today, so it's Tuesday the 14th. Today's quote is by Anonymous. Watch out, they'll get you on the internet. Focus on the powerful, euphoric, magical, synchronistic, beautiful parts of life, and the universe will keep giving them to you. Thank you, universe. It's good to be home. Um, we're gonna order a new... <laughs> I thought Sarah was done brushing her teeth. <laughs> I thought we were about to do the side off. <laughs> um, we're gonna order a microphone. Very soon. To be honest, don't think we had the highest tech. I think that was a $15 microphone on Amazon that broke weeks ago, so we're gonna order a new one. Her teeth are cleaned if you Did didn't Did you know tell. that that's like a signature me move is walking around brushing my teeth? I get too bored. It's a signature move for Don Mifka when we have the other college <laughs> program and he would drip toothpaste on the carpet. I don't. I know you don't. He did though. Don, I hope now that it's going on 10 years since then that you don't do that anymore. Good. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.